Hello everyone, bballer 13 sn here, and again, I was smart enough to open our visit right away. So today, I wanted to have a quick, we've worked with values that are placed inside the script. Today I just wanted to work with exterior values, or at least that's what I like to call them. Sorry, my voice sounds a little worse than usual, because I just woke up. And I still feel a little sick here. So, script, insert, object. We did this for inserting our script, but we're using something else now. We could use int value, which stands for integer value, which means it can't have a decimal place, but it can be anything else. We could have a number value, which means it could be any number, really, up to a point, and then boolean value, which can only have true or false, and it has a little checkbox, but I prefer just working with numbers. It allows you much more flexibility, and I like to use int values, because I never have decimals anyway. So, I rename this, file one Now, I'm just going to go the easy way. Actually, now I'm going to teach you guys some repetition. Insert object int value. Okay. Val2. Oop, you guys should know what I'm doing here. Highlight the script. Insert object int value. Val3. There we go. Now let's go in here local val1 equals script that val1 I'm just gonna redo this and then show you guys what it means okay so it's pretty obvious but you guys might not know so I'm just gonna show you anyway alright so we have our equal operator and instead of having to go all the way up to game that workspace and stuff all we gotta do is say script. What did I just do? Back, back, there we go. So instead of having to go all the way to game.workspace and then finding it, all we've gotta do is script, which means the script that you're typing in. And then if you do dot parent, it goes up one for however many parents you have. Or it has, or if you don't have a dot parent, it goes to the scripts children. In this case, it's the vowels. Okay, so script dot val one finds its first child named val one. Okay, so now we've got to change this up though. And I know we were using string values, and we will in a minute for this equation. But, we're not right now, because I want to show you how to work with numeric values real fast. Okay? Alright, so. We'll go back, we'll click, close. Then, instead of copying what's in the script, we have to copy this whole thing. Because it's got the vowels. Let me go in here. And where are our bricks? way too far for us to remember them. Okay, then we're just gonna we'll find them by their highlighting. Okay. There they are. Let's just change their position here. It changes every second, so it's gonna be kinda hard. Uh, let's just delete our script here. Then paste our new one. Actually, no, delete that one. For a second, so we can check if it works. Let's change this to nine, and this to not a negative nine. Also, there. Now we can keep track of these things. That control B, or however you choose to paste it. And look at that. They're moving again. Not just so we don't lose them again. Let's just delete that. 
Now let's go in and delete all of these values. And then let's go back, insert, object. Now we have number values and int values. That's all we've, and I taught you a little about bool values. So I'm just going to teach you about each one that's listed. Bool value, true or false. Brick color value, it has that little brick color thing and it can hold the value of a brick color. It's pretty easy to understand. C frame value holds basically a vector 3 but in C frame form you don't know anything about that yet I don't think. Color 3 value. Color 3 is just the color series you use for uh, GUIs. I'll teach you a little about GUIs in the next tutorial probably because can't think much more about bricks. So then you got int value, number value. Object value, to be honest, I've never used it. My assumption is that it just holds the path to a brick. Then string value, that's what we're going to be working with. It holds a string. Okay. Whatever I've needed to have a path to an object, I've used the string value because I'm not daring enough to use an object value. But vector 3 value just holds the position. Okay. So, we are going to be using string values. We name this val1. And again, I'm going to go through repetition. String value. Val2. And one lot. Nope, we need to highlight our script. Not double click it, but highlight it. Insert object, which means just a single click. There. And val3. So now we go into our script. Now, some of you guys are asking me, why can't you have, why can't you label the value of it right away? Well, first let me show you, value is a property, okay? You can never label a property in a variable, or at least I've never been able to, because it always gives me bad results. Whenever I just change it up and do this, I've always had good scripts, okay? So just go with the easier way. Now all we've got to do is change this to dot dot. See how easy it is? Now let's test if this works. But first, we've got to do this and change their values on our own. In fact, we never changed the values of the last ones, but it doesn't really matter. I'll teach you guys here. Just remember, int values can only hold numbers with no decimal places. Okay. So string value bball then val2 er 13 sn and then those two together will equal epic oh wait sorry same thing but uh, bball or 13 sn with two l's thank you there you go so let's copy this go back to our visit paste it into workspace and watch those things move Ball or 13 Val 3 has no value. Forget, press enter here. I'll explain why. Now they should move. So, okay, apparently there's some kind of problem here. Uh, let's just delete the script real fast and go back. So, first off, let's give Val3 its value back. Which for some reason it never took it. Okay. So now let's find val1 dot value dot concatenated with val2 dot value. There should be no problem there. Let's check if our names right. Val1, val2, and val3. All good to go. Their values are all good. Let's 
try this again. Then. Copy that script. Paste it back into workspace. There we go. Now they're moving. See? Moving. Okay. Well, that is all for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Watch for the next. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.